If you could live anywhere, where would it be? And what would it be like? As a home seller in today's hot market, you can make those dreams real. Our world-class agents are here to guide you every step of the way. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Center, this is your weather today. Hey folks, Ben Luna here with you in the Tennessee Valley Weather Center wishing you a happy Thursday and a happy June starting a brand new month today. And wouldn't you know the weather is going to really feel like it should for being the first day of June. It's going to be hot, touch on the humid side this afternoon, and we still may be looking at a chance for a few little pop up storms along the way as we head through the heat of the afternoon. Satellite and radar together over the past 24 hours showing just that calm skies in the morning. And then as we roll into the afternoon, kind of like popcorn at the movie theater, it just breaks out across the area. And that's exactly what we're going to see again today. Enough moisture across the area that it's going to feel humid. And then once we really add that sunshine to the mix by the mid afternoon, things are going to fire off across the area. Now, don't pay just gospel truth to the position of the storm. The model is really indicating that, say, by around two or three, keep the umbrella close by. You don't have to maybe carry it in your hand the whole time, but just on an average look at the region, 20 to 30 percent, we could be looking at a chance for those pop up storms occurring between two and six tonight. And I say six because we do continue to see a little bit of activity filter across the area into the mid evening hours, but say by around eight, things are completely dried out. Our sky is clear. We are perfect for the overnight and then rinse, repeat. And here we go again for tomorrow. More of the same for the second day of June. Friday, we'll see a good looking start to the day, followed by those heat of the afternoon storms. And that too will continue, you guessed it, into the coming weekend. There's not just a lot of changes occurring to our weather locally here over the course of the next few days, even into next week. We are continuing to watch that disturbance down in the Gulf as it tries to turn together to make for a few storms and some gusty wind for the uh, Florida Peninsula here over the course of the next day or two. But here close to home, weekend starts out good by the afternoon. Again, clouds, maybe a few scattered storms here, and the same will go for your Sunday too. Just know that the weekend, we do have just a smidgen more heat, and that's gonna allow temperatures to climb into the upper 80s to what I think will be the lower 90s area wide here for uh, Saturday and Sunday afternoon. So here's your day builder forecast courtesy of Parks Lumber. This is the breakdown for today. We'll be at around 79 to 80 by midday today, and then we will continue to warm as we head into the afternoon, low to mid 80s area wide with that chance for those pop up storms occurring uh, as we head toward the heat of the afternoon. Here's a look at highs across the area for today. Uh, 86 in downtown Columbia. The same for folks in Mount Pleasant. 84 in Lawrenceburg. We'll shoot for 80 86 in Waynesboro, 85 in Pulaski, 85 in beautiful Rogersville, Alabama this afternoon, 86 in the Quad Cities will shoot for 87 degrees in Decatur. By the way, and for the record, both the Shoals and Nashville have both already had 90 degree days so far this year. Here's a look at lows for tomorrow morning, mid 60s, the magic number across the area. And for the next seven days, fresh from the Tennessee Valley Weather Center with the Coldwell Banker Southern Realty seven day forecast. Again, just a few pop up storms each afternoon, not massive rain chances and definitely not a washout, but something you want to have our app downloaded for. It does alert you to rain in the area. Search for Tennessee Valley weather in the Apple App Store and Google Play. 88 to 90 across the region as we head towards Sunday, Saturday included as well. And then slightly, and I mean slightly cooler as we look ahead to next week with temperatures climbing back down the ladder to the mid-ish 80s here by Monday and Tuesday. Got to look for something, right? That is a check on your forecast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Kelly is out today. Fred's in a little bit early. Check out the latest weather at noon with him right here on the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel. As always, thank you for watching. I'll leave you with a final look at the seven-day forecast. Hope you have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.